All of these anime clips you see are created with AI. No base image, no video to video generations. You just write a text and get the video. Yup, video generation has come a long way. Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to see if AI can recreate anime. This is just the second part of my Hanyuan video series. So if this is the first video you're watching, make sure to check the first one, where I give you a detailed explanation on what files to download and how to set up the workflow. For this tutorial, you're going to need to download two files. First is the file in the link right here. This is a new VAE that you need when using LoRa's. I know the name looks the same as the previous VAE we downloaded, but this is completely different. This is a VAE provided by Kijai. So after downloading it, rename it to anything you want so you can easily distinguish the previous one and this new one and place it in your VAE folder. Once that is done, you need to go and download a LoRa. Any anime LoRa is perfectly fine, but I love this Makoto Shinkai LoRa. For those who don't know, he's a brilliant director who has done films like Your Name and The Garden of Words, and this LoRa replicates those movie art styles really well. Download it and place it in your LoRa directory. Next, you can download the workflow file I've attached from the description, and then drag and drop it into Comfy UI. As always, make sure to select the files, select the LoRa, and for the VAE, make sure to select the new VAE model you downloaded. This is important, or else it's going to give you a VAE decode error. Now everything is set up, so just type anything you want and hit the Q. I'm not going to explain these settings again since I already did that in my last video, so make sure to check it out if you haven't. And here we go! Currently, there's a bug in my browser where the preview image gets zoomed, but if I open up in a new tab, you can see how well this looks. It really has that anime feel to it, and the movements and everything looks perfect as well. Obviously, it's still suffering from the hand issues, but this is far, far ahead from what we had before. You can do the same for landscapes. So if I write a prompt for a landscape, change the values, and hit the Q again, you can see we get a nice prompt on a rainy day. Look at how these branches move. It's so smooth. To finish things off, I'm going to generate a 720p video. It's obviously going to take very long, but let's see what we get. Okay, about 15 minutes later, I got this 3 second 720p video, and the quality is really good. I kept the same prompt, so you can see we get the rain. Add a couple of effects and music, and you can make a decent looping video with this. Now, obviously, there are still limitations, even in a 24 gigabyte VGA, this took me at least about 5 minutes to generate. Yes, a 480p 2 second video takes 5 minutes to be generated even in NVIDIA's flagship VGA. So yeah, we have a long way to go. But this is a good start. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Drop any questions or issues you had down below in the comments. And make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.